Hallo Lena hier, schön, dass ihr wieder einschaltet. Ja, und zwar gibt es heute ein ernstes Thema. Es ist tatsächlich 20 Jahre her, dass dieses schreckliche Ereignis in New York am 11. September passiert ist. Ich denke, wir wissen alle, worüber ich spreche. Und eine Freundin von mir, eine ganz liebe Freundin, Maria, war tatsächlich ähm, ja, ziemlich oder sehr in der Nähe äh, von World Trade Center, als das Ganze passiert ist. Und äh, ich habe mich mit ihr unterhalten. Ich dachte, das kann einfach für uns alle interessant sein. Äh, ja, dass sie einfach über ihre Erlebnisse erzählt. Ich denke, jeder von uns weiß, was sie an dem Tag gemacht hat, weil ja, das war ja einfach so unvorstellbar, so unglaublich, was da passiert ist und tausende von Menschen sind gestorben und ja, einfach schrecklich. Und äh, ich denke, ich unterhalte mich mit Maria darüber und ja, falls euch das Format gefällt, gerne einen Daumen nach oben und äh, schreibt mir gerne äh, etwas in den Kommentaren und äh, jetzt würde ich sagen, fangen wir mit dem Interview an. Schön, dass du äh, dieses Gespräch mit mir führen möchtest und äh, dass du über deine Erfahrungen äh, erzählen möchtest. Und äh, ja, die erste Frage, äh, was hast du oder damals dein Freund war das ja und heute dein Ehemann, was habt ihr in New York damals gemacht? Uh, yes, uh, we were there for a year and a half and worked for uh, Deloitte as auditors in their New York office, which was um, right uh, in the south of Manhattan uh, next to the World Trade Center in a building called World Financial Center. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, we worked there in the different uh, customers' offices around the city. Uh -huh. Und uh, genau, uh, was für Arbeitsaufgaben waren das? Uh, audit. Uh, we were in the audit industry, so mm. auditing financials of uh, American companies. Ja, ja. Wo genau habt ihr gewohnt? Wo habt ihr gelebt? Uh, we um, were really lucky uh, to get a small uh, townhouse. Um, I think it was just three or four floors um, up on the Upper West Side. So these are like small buildings with a few apartments in them. And uh, we had a very small uh, apartment with just one bedroom and a small uh, kitchenette in the living room. Uh, heavily expensive as it is in New York. Ja, 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 ja klar. Ja. Und um, ja, wie lange habt ihr da gearbeitet, bevor es passiert ist, uh, dieser schreckliche, das schreckliche Ereignis? Um, I think we probably had been there for a year. Uh, mm -hmm. We probably oh, came in August 2000. Mm -hmm. So this was about a year after. Ah, so long. Mm -hmm. Aber ihr habt also nicht in World Trade Center gearbeitet, weil das war damals, als es passiert ist, das war so mein letzter Stand, was ich so wusste, dass ihr tatsächlich in World Trade Center gearbeitet habt. Aber das habt ihr nie gemacht, oder? Well, actually, I worked for a long time at the top of the World Trade Center on the 98th floor because one of my customers had their office there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I spent several months up in that building. Um, and also, we, we used to visit a bar uh, called uh, View of the World or Windows of the World or something like that. That was on the 110th floor in one of the buildings. Very uh -huh. nice bar overlooking the entire uh, New York City. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but actually at that time I didn't work there anymore. Ja, 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 zum Glück. Ja. Aber ihr wart also in World Financial Center, also da habt ihr gearbeitet und das war äh, also ein Gebäude neben ähm, World Trade Center, oder? Yes, it's uh, right across the street. So, mm -hmm. just on the other side of the street. Mm -hmm. Also existiert dieses Gebäude noch, wo ihr gearbeitet habt, also World Finance Center, das gibt es noch? Yes, it does. It was uh, heavily damaged, um, but um, not that bad. Uh, there were, I think, one or two buildings next to the World Trade Center and that were so damaged that they also fell apart or that they had to take them down. Uh, but this building still exists. Um, it was... Um, like a glass attic uh, in those buildings, that was pretty crashed by the things falling down. And there were things on the facade and windows being crashed, etc. But the building itself is still there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ja, und dann, uh, ja, erzähl doch mal, uh, wie es dann an dem Tag war, oder? Es ist dann praktisch passiert ist oder gerade passiert war. Wie, wie hast du es erlebt? Uh, wie, wie war das? 
Um, yes, uh, that morning uh, we uh, went by subway from Upper West Side to the office. Uh, and we were maybe a few minutes late because we had been to a concert the night before um, with uh, Michael Jackson, actually. And um, so we were a bit tired that morning. So we probably, I think we came in a few minutes after nine, which is actually quite normal for New Yorkers to not start before nine. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then it was announced that um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Haltestelle, uh, World, Finance, uh, World Trade Center, actually was not uh, working and that we had to get off at the station before. So we did. Um, and they had just turned it off, of course, because of uh, the crash. Uh, and uh, so we came up on the street uh, a bit north. And immediately when we came up on the street, we saw that there was something really strange going on. Uh, we couldn't really see anything because we were in the middle of a lot of buildings, but we could see people, uh, look, everybody looking up in the sky and people picking up their children and leaving very rapidly from the place. And we didn't really know what was going on until we uh, went a few meters ahead and could actually see the building. Uh, 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 and at that time, actually, both of them had been hit. So we saw first the first building and saw that there was a big hole into it uh, and also some fire. Uh, Was that you then in the moment as you have seen? We thought maybe, maybe the first building could have been an accident. But uh -huh. then we walked a few meters more and then we saw that the other building had also been hit and then we understood that this was not an accident. Uh -huh. But we ja, had no ja. idea what had happened. Ja, ja. Okay, and uh, yeah, and what have you then uh, gemacht? Well, uh, we started walking towards our office, um, but uh, we saw uh, that it wasn't really possible to get there. There were um, firemen coming and they were shopping down the streets and we couldn't really get access to our office so we had to turn around and and start walking away from there and uh, the subways had been stopped um, so uh, all people were just walking away basically uh, and then we started to walk along the Hudson River uh, up north uh, and uh, then we heard um, from some people listening at the radio that there's also been a hit at the Pentagon. Mm. Um, and then we were wondering what's going on, really. We thought mm. maybe that there's going to be more attacks. Mm. Hattet ihr Angst in dem Moment? Oder? Hm? Hattet ihr Angst in dem Moment? Yes, yes. Uh, that was really scary. Mm. Because we didn't know what, what else would be happening. Uh, uh. Uh, and then uh, we saw the first building uh, falling apart, uh, just dropping right down. Uh. And then we said, we really need to get out of here really fast. Uh. Uh. Dann wart ihr also nicht so in der Nähe, dass es dann äh, gefährlich war mit Staub oder äh, generell so, oder? No, then we were not. Uh, uh, but where we initially stood, uh, that's where all the Staub and other things were coming. Uh, so mm -hmm. it was good that we had walked away a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, but then we were further up. Uh, so that was fine. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, we walked into the neighborhood there and tried to find a taxi and we finally succeeded. And then when we drove with a taxi up, up towards our house, uh, we then saw that the other building had also disappeared. Mm, mm. Yeah, really sad. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Was habt ihr dann uh, einfach so gedacht oder zueinander gesagt? Und ja. Yeah. And yeah, we, we thought that we need to uh, call uh, family in Sweden. Uh, so we came home and uh, we tried to call, but um, uh, the phones were not working uh, and actually there was a big uh, uh, switch uh, board for the network it was located in the world trade center uh -huh. uh, so that affected uh, all the phones in, in manhattan uh -huh. um, 
And then uh, we got the advice from our neighbor. He said that we should go and get uh, cash from the bank. Um, that's cash. cash? Yeah. Uh, cash, okay, cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because that uh, electronic payments maybe wouldn't be working. And he was quite right. So we walked immediately to the bank. There was a lot of people there, but we were quite early. So we were able to get some money. And then we w went to the grocery store to buy food. Mm -hmm. And um, the store was almost empty already. People uh -huh. had been cleaning it out and you could only pay with cash. No credit uh -huh. card payments were working. Uh -huh. Okay. Ja, äh, wie, wie lange war das so, dass, ähm, dass man kein Bargeld abheben konnte? Um, it was only for a day or so. So mm. it wasn't that bad. Things got mm. restored really quickly. Um, mm. yeah. But it really shows what happens in a crisis in a society. Ja. Mm. Ähm, und äh, war das auch so eine Art Lockdown? Äh, ich meine, du hast damals erzählt, du hast eine Mail geschrieben damals, dass es so, ja, dass die Läden auch zu waren für ein oder ein paar Tage danach. Um, no, I think it was only for that day, because uh, the entire streets of New York were quite empty from cars, no cars anywhere. They closed the bridges. Um, I think maybe they closed actually the bridges for a few days, uh, mm -hmm. so you couldn't really get on or off Manhattan uh, easily. And uh, restaurants were closed many that night, um, mm -hmm. and all people were just staying at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but on the next day, um, it was people everywhere because everybody wanted to get out of their isolation at home. Um, yeah. So then it was actually really crowded at all restaurants because everybody wanted to meet and talk about what had happened and ja. Ja, ja, ja. und äh, wann hast du deine Eltern oder wann habt ihr eure Eltern erreicht? Also die müssen sich ja wahnsinnig Sorgen gemacht haben. Ja, uh, I think we were able to call them uh, later the same day uh, in the evening or in the afternoon. Mm. Um, so it took quite many hours and they were really worried because mm. they knew that we were working down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also ich habe auch so äh, viel darüber nachgedacht. Ne? Du hast gerade erzählt, dass ihr an dem Tag etwas später im Büro wart. Das Gebäude, wo ihr wart, ist, äh, ich denke, da ist keiner verletzt oder gestorben oder so. Oder, oder ja, ich, aber trotzdem, ne, wenn ihr da früher gewesen wärt, das war ein riesen Schreck oder auch mit dem Staub oder ob ihr so schnell weggekommen wärt vom, von Ort und Stelle dann. Das ist natürlich die Frage. Ne? So, das waren immer meine Gedanken. Ob du auch äh, da überlegt hast, ne, äh, was wäre, wenn wir früher dahin gekommen wären? Um, um, ja, die kommt die Zeit, ja, du hast die Zeit nicht annullierend aus. Um, I had friends who were a bit earlier in the office that morning, and mm. so, and they actually stayed there uh, for a while and watched uh, the things happening, and uh, they saw people jumping from the World Trade Center. Mm. Um, so, it was a really a nasty experience, nothing yeah. that you would really want to um, mm. see. Um, but they were able to uh, get out. I think actually before building fell down. Ja, mm -hmm. ja. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Kanntest du Leute, die äh, tatsächlich gestorben sind? Kunden oder Kollegen oder äh, irgendwie so? No, I didn't know anybody who actually died. Uh, but uh, there were some people who I had met at this kind where I worked in the World Trade Center um, that uh, didn't make it. Uh, and uh, we actually had a colleague of ours also, he was working for another company in the World Trade Center. And he finished off all his duties and sat really late uh, the, the night before, uh, so he, that he wouldn't have to come in also in the morning after, uh, which was really good for him because they yeah. were on, I don't know, uh, 103rd floor or 107th or something. Mm -hmm. And from that company, I think uh, about uh, 80% didn't make it. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Äh, ja, und was habt ihr dann äh, in den Tagen danach gemacht? Ähm, habt ihr, oder wann konntet ihr wieder anfangen zu arbeiten? Und wie, wie war das? Weil das Gebäude, wo ihr gearbeitet habt, hat, habt ihr war ja, ähm, ja so beschädigt. Und äh, wie hat das funktioniert? Um, well, uh, first we got a few weeks of vacation. Um, because uh, our computers were stuck in the building and it was too difficult to get in and get it out because uh, it was risky. Um, so that took um, a couple of weeks uh, before we got them. Um, but actually it was quite impressive because I think already the day after um, the company called around, they had uh, maybe 5,000 employees uh, there. So they called each and every employee see that they were all right. Aha. Mm. Mm. Also euch auch, oder? Yes. Ja. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And mm. also, um, uh, everybody has an emergency number that we should call and report to uh, in a crisis. So we call that mm. number as well, mm. uh, where they kind of checked off that, okay, so you're alive and yeah. you're well, uh, and what can we do for you, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, very professional. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the company had uh, a few other offices um, also. So uh, once we got our uh, computer and could start to work again, um, the company actually rented uh, one of the big hotels uh, um, in, um, uh, in the central New York, um, uh, one of the Marriott hotels. So they rented uh, basically a few floors, took out all the beds and desks and that and put in office desks and three or four people into each room and that was the new office for a few months uh -huh. and uh -huh. it took until um i think it was until march or april the year after before the company could move back into the world financial center again uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. aber ein halbes jahr hat's gedauert und dann war es uh, ja wieder ja schick und frisch und yes. ja mm -hmm. Ja, oh, cool. mm. Wart ihr äh, dann ja kurz danach bei, äh, an Ground Zero? Ich meine, das war ja alles gesperrt, gehe ich von aus, aber in der Nähe oder so? Oder konnte, wie viel konnte man sehen? Ich meine, das war natürlich ein Katastrophengebiet und man wollte wahrscheinlich nicht dahin, aber ja, wart ihr da oder? Ja, um, yeah, well, it actually took a long time before I went there, because um, the place was still burning uh, mm -hmm. for many weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe a month uh, even or more uh, and it was still coming smoke and some dust um, so it wasn't really pleasant to be there uh, I avoided the area and um, I think most people living in the area had to move somewhere else for mm -hmm. some time mm -hmm. uh, so it took me one or two months before I even went down there mm -hmm. and wie hat sich das angefühlt? oh it's yeah Bad memories. Mm. But Probably. I would like to go back uh, now to see what it's been like when they have uh, rebuilt or made the new buildings there uh, and mm. the memory part. But mm. um, haven't been. Ja, wir waren, also mein Mann und ich, wir waren ja da vor drei Jahren, also äh, kann ich echt empfehlen, das war wirklich sehr beeindruckend. Natürlich äh, nicht, nicht positiv beeindruckend, sondern das war wirklich aber sehr, ähm, ja, äh, bewegend, also hm. wirklich sehr gut. Also wir waren nicht, man kann wohl, glaube ich, wie gesagt, äh, reingehen in, in dein Haus da. Da waren wir nie, also in ein Museum oder so ähnlich, glaube ich, ist da, da waren wir nicht, aber einfach, ähm, äh, das ist so ein, oder sind so zwei Wasserfälle im Grunde, äh, da, ja, da, davor praktisch oder da, wo es passiert ist. Ne? Und das war wirklich sehr sehr, sehr schön gemacht irgendwie und respektvoll irgendwie auch so gegenüber den Opfern und man hat, hat auch wirklich so die, diese Tragödie, diese schreckliche Energie da irgendwie so gespürt, so, ne, muss ich sagen. Also es war mhm. schon beeindruckend. Mhm. Ja. Und äh, ja, ich, du hast in der Mail damals äh, geschrieben, dass ihr äh, ja in der ersten Zeit äh, immer wieder aus dem Fenster rausgeguckt habt und nach Flugzeugen geguckt habt. <lacht> äh, ja, ja ne, kannst du dich daran erinnern? Oder ich meine, die Angst muss ja schon äh, da gewesen, zu sein, äh, gewesen sein. Um, 
I think um, I probably had a strange feeling all the time that I stayed in New York. We stayed until May, maybe next year, uh, working. And I have this feeling all the time uh, and watching for our planes uh, when they came and you just spontaneously look. Uh, so something is still there. And it was also other things afterwards because um, uh, just uh, maybe a month after or two months after, there was a plane crash in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. um, which was an accident, um, uh -huh. but we didn't know then. Um, and then it was also an attack of anthrax. Um, uh, also attack in New York. Uh, uh, attacks Mjeltbrand. of Mjeltbrand. Mjeltbrand. Mm. Also, it was några, några, also virus som, som, uh, and uh, gift. I don't know exactly what it is for now. There were no one spread it. Aha, nej, det var också alltså terror då. Ja. Mm. Ja, men det är inte från liksom Al-Qaida eller något sånt. Nej. Utan det var något annat. Mm. Aha. Det visste mm. inte jag. Helt glömt bort eller ja. <laughs> ja. För det var ju precis därefter så det var ju helt kaotiskt. Ja, jag förstår jag. Ja. Aha, aha. Kannst du jetzt im, im Nachhinein sagen, 20 Jahre danach, ob, da, ob das Spuren hinterlassen hat, ob du irgendwie immer noch teilweise irgendwie Bedenken hast oder, oder ja, Angstgefühle hast, wenn in gewissen Situationen, also äh, ja, nach dieser Sache? Uh, no, not really. Uh, many years have passed, but uh, what I maybe still do is that, that I actually look for emergency exits when I'm in uh, bigger buildings, make sure that I know how to get out and things like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, ich kann mich uh, daran erinnern, uh, wir waren drei Jahre danach uh, in uh, Rom an der spanischen Treppe und es waren so viele Leute da, also so viele Menschen und uh, da weiß ich noch, dass ich gedacht habe, also wenn hier eine Bombe ja, explodiert, ne? dann äh, sieht es richtig schlimm aus. Ne? Also man, man war direkt danach und einige Jahre danach schon daran bewusst, ne? dass man nicht ganz, also 100% sicher war, äh, besonders wo viele Menschen waren und so. Also äh, das hat sich jetzt, glaube ich, so ein bisschen gelegt, aber direkt danach, dann ging es mir und ich denke viele, vielen so. Ne? Ja. Mhm. Mhm. Aber ja, generell, was würdest du dann über dein oder euer Aufenthalt in New York äh, ja, zusammenfassend sagen? Habt ihr das äh, doch in, in einer guten Erinnerung oder ja, eher nicht? Ich meine, jetzt einfach generell zusammenfassend, ja, wie, wie, wie seht ihr die, die Zeit da in New York? Ja. Well, New York is a fantastic city to live in. Uh, I think we, we had a great experience there. Um, and there were a few months which were not so nice, but all in all, it was fantastic. Uh, I would recommend anybody to go there and live and work for, for a while, uh, maybe not forever. Uh, but there, there is such so many things to do there, there are so many restaurants, there are concerts, and, and also just to travel around and see the US is also a very interesting. Mm, ja. ja, hast du was Besonderes gelernt von der Aufenthalt? Ähm, ja, etwas Generelles. Äh, jetzt nicht unbedingt äh, wegen, dem, wegen, wegen der Katastrophe, sondern generell, du, du hast gesagt, das ist überhaupt also, ja, positiv, ne? viele Erlebnisse, aber ist das was Besonderes, was du da ähm, ja, erzählen möchtest? Well, uh, I'm not sure, but um, I think it was uh, quite impressive anyway to see how we, how professional it was uh, and that uh, to have a disaster plan within a company is something that uh, maybe companies in general take a bit light. It's actually really good to have one that actually works and that you can live after when things happen. It doesn't have to be a terror attack. Other things can also happen. So. Mm -hmm. Ja. Mm. Mm. ja, genau. Mm. Das waren meine Fragen. Also ich freue mich sehr, dass du äh, ja, meine Fragen beantwortet hast und dass du über deine Erlebnisse erzählt hast. Und äh, ja, das ist einfach eine Zeit, die man 
Ja, das vergisst man nie, denke ich. Und äh, ja, ich äh, bedanke mich sehr für das Gespräch. Thank you. Es war wirklich sehr interessant, es von jemandem zu erfahren, wie es vor Ort war. Also keine schönen Erinnerungen, ganz klar. Und ja, ich bedanke mich bei Maria, die es mitgemacht hat. Das hat mich wirklich sehr gefreut. Und falls es euch gefallen hat, dann schreibt es mir gerne unten in den Kommentaren. Und äh, dann sehen wir uns bald wieder. Macht's gut. Tschüss.